What's up, my local lurkers? Got another ET8 game. Uh, it's Imperial versus uh, Shivamon. And uh, actually, I shouldn't even say it's Shivamon. It's more of like a green hybrid Shivamon. And TLDR, the idea is Rapidmon is one hell of a drug and Terriermon's green. So, and on top of that, green hybrid's really strong and Rhino Kabi Terriermon also says it can digivolve into insects or insectoids and Shivamon's an insectoid. So the whole idea is be a boss with Shivamon. Green hybrid was always good. Um, green is Terriermon, so Rapidmon's live. And you're just kind of trying to mix like a couple ideas together. But um, I wasn't sure if I was going to upload this game because the Imperial on the left is actually a brand new player. And uh, uh, I, I was asking myself, do I want to, am I willing to show something like this where like, you know, it's not necessarily a, a competitive match or it's not even, you can't even call it a friendly match, right? I mean, I guess it's obviously friendly or they don't hate each other, but the guy on the left is new. So he's going to misplay. He's going to take his time looking at his cards. doesn't know quite what he can and can't do. And there's a part of me that wants to show this game and then for what should I say? How do I word this? Uh, the reason I want to, I'm okay with, I decided to finally show it is I feel like a lot of people in the, in, out there in the wild, lurking around, look at these YouTubers, look at people topping, looking, look at podcasts and look at all these things. And they're like, wow, these players are so good. These players know everything that they're doing. Uh, I can never be like that. Or I shouldn't go to locals. They're just going to stomp me. And like, as anyone could honestly tell you that's actually been to a local scene or anything like any card game scene is or at least Digimon has been one of the most friendliest like groups of people I like I've had the pleasure to hang out with like for example the other day um, we had a brand new player he walks into the store and he says hey is anyone trading the new Imperial Mon Dragon mode card it's like a couple bucks on TCG player and I need to pick them up and as you can imagine, me and my friend were like, you know, you just buy the starter deck and get like the whole deck for like 10 bucks. He's like, yeah, but no, uh, no, 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 no money. And I just want to buy the Imperial. I can't afford everything. And basically his, what he was saying is he didn't have the money. And so me and my friend look at each other and we're like, all right, five minutes later, we come back and give him two starter decks. Like, and now that guy can play a semi-feasible tier one deck with no problem. Um, and like, that's just, just, that's just the kind of people I've had the pleasure to meet when it comes to Digimon and we're always willing to teach people and everyone's, everyone I've ever met is willing to teach new players and get them in. Cause at the end of the day, like having more people is always going to be better for everybody. So like TLDR, like I know I'm missing out on talking about the insectoid deck that I will have another video for and I will, um, fangirl about it a little bit i definitely i love i love when a deck has like a solid idea like <sighs> um, i'm losing my tangent about if you're a new player don't don't uh don't be scared to go to locals at all like don't it's very easy to fall into the trap of like the facebook like oh look at everyone else's life is so good everyone else at this game is great and they all know what they're doing like if like it's okay to be a new player. You just show up and learn. If you're expecting to not get 3-0'd or 0-3'd and get last place, then I don't know what you're expecting because you should you should come in and learn and come to make friends and and just play the game. And when, And by playing the game with people that are good, you'll learn. Just ask questions. I, there's so many times where I'll sit there and I'll be like, hey man, you remember that one turn where I had this and this and I could have done this, but instead I did this. Which play do you think was better? And just sitting there and discussing with your opponent like, yeah, maybe that other play was the better play. Maybe this play was the mistake. Don't, don't be afraid. At, at the end of the day, it's like, it's okay to be bad. I guess it's like people are afraid to be bad or at least show other people that they're bad, but it's, it is more than okay, man. Like everyone was bad. I've 
I have made the worst mist I've made the classic mistake of swinging into hammer spark and losing games. Everyone's done it. Um, and like I like, and like I said, you know, the player on the right is running away with it, um, and is is playing his game. Player on the left has a green egg in the back, which means he's stuck and can't can't use any of his rookies because um, his his Vmon's did evolve on blue, and you know that's a rookie thing, right? That's a that's something he will now know for the rest of the time he plays this game. That he needs to pay attention to what his rookies did evolve off of. And yeah, it'd be like that, man. And that's that's fine. I hope this guy comes next time with more knowledge and claps somebody and at least wins one game instead of going 0-3 or whatever, 0-4 or whatever he may have done. Like, don't get discouraged. Like, everyone had to learn. Everyone had to read what Pokemon did. Everyone had to learn that Hammer Spark triggers two memory insecurity. We've all been there. We've all done it. So don't be afraid to go to your locals, man. Uh, we, it's the only way to grow the scene. It's only the only way this game's gonna get better is if we have more people to, you know, just make friends. And I mean, that's the whole reason I'm doing these videos too, is um, watching yourself play Watching you make those mistakes, reliving those things, and like, there's there's so much to learn from watching yourself play the game. And I, I wanted to offer that to the people in my scene. And, and I can't record everybody, and I try not to record the same people. At least my rule is I don't record the same person twice in the same day. But I tend to lurk around the top tables, so it'd be like that. You'll you'll see a lot of you know we we get a fat locals. We got like. 20 people a lot of the time, man. So it's pretty good here in Kissimmee, Florida. But uh, yeah, come by. I leave a link in the chat all the, or in the description all the time of which scene this is. So come, dude, and then say that this YouTube channel sent you and that I said it was okay to be bad. And you're, I'll be like, yeah, hell yeah, it's okay to be bad. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll actually talk about this match <laughs> eventually. Uh, I just don't. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just stuck on the point of like, don't just because you 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 see all the other YouTubers in the world, you know, top this thing, top that thing. Like, they were all bad at one point. They kind of and and it's also worse because it because this is a new card game and they're just it just seems like they were instantly good at it. And it's because man, they played they play other card games. They've been playing card games like, you know, they, they've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh since they were kids they were playing pokemon or and nowadays there's so much information to get good that people just got good like it, it everyone started at zero right everyone had to start by naming their character at on the character creation screen you know like no one no one's instantly level 60 doing mythic rating you know it's the same in everything so you're you know it is just like that, man. And so, I mean, I'm. I can't wait to share the actual like Shivamon game. I, I mean, spoiler alert: it was a, it was a two zero. I think it loses, but it gets to show up. I want, I want, I want to. Rec I, I just, just kind of like that, that, that my Otis Mon deck I was showing earlier. Like, I, I love when a, a, a deck has like a core idea and it works. You know, there's a lot of times where people will be like, I made this creative deck. And you're like, that's that's a Mega Dramon Turbo Red deck. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that that I don't see the synergy in that, man. And they're like, nope. And I'm like, nope. But, uh, you know, like when, when a deck has an idea and it all just makes sense. Like, sure, it's not going to be tier one. Because if it was tier one, people would have figured it out already. But like when it's just a core solid idea and it works with itself and it does what it wants to what it sets out when a deck sets out to do what it wants to do consistently then you have a solid and fun deck in my opinion and i love it. um he's not really showing off the massive one stuff but like you get the idea with the willises you know it makes your rapid mons even cheaper you could rapid mon someone for essentially two which rapid mons a hell of a drug and being able to do that for two is great <laughs> because uh, of the double cost reduction. Willis is a green tamer, which feeds your green tamers. 
and you know the Shivaman stuff just kind of plays into itself and it's almost trying to be like a pseudo meta call like to because I think Shivaman's 12k and then so is Ofanimon so you have like this weird like okay matchup against yellow hybrid um any kind of bail star deck you kind of like blow them out like out of nowhere because they don't know what to do after not having options um you know player on the left you know swinging with rookies doesn't have a quite I, I imagine like it's a mix of like he didn't shuffle well and shuffling well it is a real thing like I, like i know it gets memed out a lot in the community community if you don't shuffle well like you're just gonna get hands like this guy like four five options in his hand two megas and another rookie like and i, I don't want to like like it's not fair for me to critique because the, the misplays or the the unoptimal plays are just kind of like he's just kind of throwing shit at the wall and hoping it works but that's okay right come up next week he's gonna come back i hope he comes back and he's gonna he's gonna win he's gonna win a game maybe not maybe not the whole match I mean, he won't get blown out and that's where you start and i i think i think that is more than okay um samadhi santi i feel like i, I still have i have a deb i actually debated with this guy i was like do you play thunder laser or do you play some of santi i don't even know how to say that card but the way i the way i say it sounds cool so i'm not i really don't think i'm gonna change until someone tells me otherwise um but yeah, now the guy can't use options. He, and he's running Angemon. <laughs> he's got. And he's just gonna swing twice and escape. I don't know. I think this is an okay video of like, as a PSA, like, it's okay to be bad, guys. It's you never, don't, ex don't show up expecting that you're gonna beat everybody. Like, don't be that guy. And, you know. We all start somewhere. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for the thanks for listening.